Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Let's go. We, we are doing, we're just leaving work um, because I'm gonna go do a little surprise visit up at DSR Motorsport. Ian has just got back from Dubai where he's been working on Dave Egan's secret project car over there, which is pretty cool. Um, or Dubai, the UAE, I should say. Sorry, that's wrong with me. He's probably got a lovely tan and I'm freezing to death here. I'm just leaving work as always. But we are now gonna head up there, DSR Motorsport, check out the progress on the 350Z, and see how we got on, really. Let's go have a little chat, That's something to do. Let's go, baby, let's go. Hello, Ian. Hello, Adam. Where's your suntan? I haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? I was locked in a workshop for seven days. So How was yeah. the UAE? Though? Was it good? Very good. Um, if you haven't watched them, make sure you go back and check out the Drift Games uh, life vlogs from the UAE. Dave Egan, as he always does, has a crazy idea. <laughs> it turned into an even crazier one before we left and the day of leaving. So, yeah. It looked, it. It looked awesome, man. Oh, it was it, incredible, but man. you've come back to England to this, the wonderful... Yeah, it's raining. The wonderful weather. I landed and it was torrential rain, so I was like, this is, I was in shorts and t-shirt, <laughs> but never mind, I'm back. I've got loads of work to do, so I'm glad to be back. This wonderful machine. But we've, we're ironing out all the problems, Adam. We've found a few problems, we've fixed a few problems, and we are in the process of fixing even more. So Come on, it's, show it's me around, good. show me around. Don't tell me good stuff. Let's go off the, the negative, horrible, Stuff I don't want to hear first, because then we can be positive. Yeah, good stuff after. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bad stuff was fans on the radiator. Common 350Z trait that the fans either don't start or they start really slowly. The trick is to know if they're bad is get it up to temp. They obviously won't come on. If you give them a little push, they then start and they'll sp spin at like half the revolutions they should. That's exactly what happened to these. So the problem that you had when this was overheating was fans just weren't coming on because they needed a little push. I tried to get it to overheat in the workshop because I knew the trick. I managed to get both the fans started and it didn't overheat again. So we've cured that problem. Um, another problem was the thermostat. I'm gonna pull it out, I'm, as you can see. The, the <laughs> can we just show the, the color of that? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's horrible. You, you, you can tell it's got a little bit warm. But yeah, the thermostat's dead in it as well. So we've got a brand new one. We're going to pull that out, replace that for a new one. What are the costs of, of stuff like that? What is the thermostat on one of these? The thermostat was like 20. Oh, it's beautiful. Music to my ears. Cheap, 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 cheap. We can do that. That's, that's about the same price as a Nando. So we can... Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then the biggest, pro one of the biggest problems you had was the steering. Right. So let me just tell people this real quick. So the steering wasn't a problem until I came to bring it to Ian. <laughs> so the car worked fine, like it was great. And then I left it for, so the drift day I did was in December. Yep. And then I bought it to you February. So three months of the car not moving and this happened. So what we discovered was that the factory steering UJ, so this goes from the steering column onto the steering rack, because obviously they're not dead in line. You have to have something, a bit of an angle. This has seized completely. That thing there is what caused me a night. A lot of pain, a lot of pain. A, a yeah. lot of stress as well. A, a lot of stress. stress. But so then I saw that. So you sent, Ian sent me a little video. Yeah, it moves, uh, it moves roughly this way. It creaks like Adam's knees when he plays <laughs> golf. But it does not move that way at all. And we've tried soaking it. We've tried giving it a little bit of a grease up. Nothing. So it's dead. This one is going in the bin. We have got one uh, on the way. They're not cheap from Nissan. Bar, Tell right? them how much. Brand new Nissan. So if you've got 350Z and you've got notchy steering, it could be the UJ. From Nissan, the only place you can buy a new one, £155. Oh, okay. For this. For that. For this. You can buy a, you can buy a reconditioned steering rack with a UJ for £160. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. I've seen something that you've done. You've down seen, here. You've seen some stuff. Yeah, you caught me halfway through an act. I'm just changing the radiator, yeah? so I've got the fans out. Obviously, so I didn't off. actually tell Ian I was coming. No, I did no. just knock on the door. And... Yeah, nice surprise visit. I don't mind that. <laughs> but the oil cool is fitted. I'm waiting for two more bolts to come. As you can see, I've drilled two holes in the crash bar. Yep. I've got two spacers I've made up that hold the top now. But the bottom's in. It's all plumbed. I'll take you up underneath and show you. Cool. Let's... Right, wide angle activated. Ian, we're going underground. Going so. Underground. Right, so yeah, two lines from the oil cooler to the sandwich plate. 
all that fitted up. They're very tight on a 350Z. I don't know, there's probably a lot of people watching saying, oh, them lines look really close. Obviously the roll bar goes, this goes up when the car goes down, so that will clear. And this is on droop, so it's never gonna get any closer than that. New oil filter, yeah, thermostatic sandwich plate from Ocal, run the lines. Obviously I've got a few bit of clipping up to do, but I've got the rad out, so you know, just take one step at a time. <laughs> um, next step, well yesterday, started fitting up all the GK Tech lock kit. So Actually looks really nice. Yeah. Just wanna, oh, I wanna just look at that for a minute, because I only saw these in the box. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, now they fit so well. The free so, moving as well, yeah, look at that. Can obviously. I just say, for a fucking car that, I'm gonna be honest, this car was a dog when I bought it, right? I didn't know it at the time. Let me explain. <laughs> so all I did is I hopped on eBay and I typed in 350Z and I saw the blue and I was like, ooh, that's a nice color. And then because I'm a fucking 12 year old chav at heart still, I saw that spoiler and those exhausts. And I was like, I am in, I want this car. And then I, I I, I, I now have uh, a car that is, I paid 5.8 for it. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's gonna owe me 10 and I've done three bad laps of Santa Pod. What, what Hello? The? What happened? I don't know. What's up? No, you need, you need help. I need help, definitely. Well, well, well look, by the time we're finished, hopefully you can do 50 good laps of Santa Pod, and you have a smile on your face, and all, of that, all that money will be worth it. Do you know what I'd rather do? If, if I've got to decide, well, I'm gonna sell some stuff, right? But if that gives me money, then, and I have this thing still, and we're building the S15, because that's coming to you next, yep. I'd like to send this to Ireland. That is kind of like the plan. That's the plan. But I need to figure out a way of, maybe Dean will lend me his trade plates, because I'm not taxing it. Fucking 700 pound tax a year. Yeah, no. Fuck that. So we'll figure out a way, even if I trailer it over and then come back with an empty trailer and be like, no, I didn't bring anything over. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, back to underneath. Carly and spicy BC coilovers and that GK tick. It looks good, doesn't it? It does look good, and they're really good. They're a really good kit. They fit really nice. I'm waiting for some brand new hardware to come um, from a supplier. So, because they're, they're an odd thread, being Japanese, obviously. So I'm waiting for some to come in. They'll be in tomorrow, so I can get that finished up. Obviously, the steering arms, I actually stripped those down, sandblasted them, give them another coat of paint because they're a little bit crusty. Nice. Cleaned all the threads up. Because I want all this to drive nice. I obviously knew there was a steering problem, so I was trying to eliminate everything yeah. along the line. And that was when we found out the UJ was wrecked. So yeah. that'll all be back together again tomorrow. All cool is done, Rad will be in tonight. And then it just leaves the hydro and the diff brace. So that's not too much work left to do. One more day. One more day, yeah? Mm -hmm. Lovely job. There was one more thing I was gonna ask you to do on the exhaust, because I think one of the welds has broke somewhere. Right, okay. Um, I'll have a good maybe idea. it's this. This looks maybe pretty shite, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not very good. Yeah, we'll get it running on the boat and we'll finally <coughs> the exhaust, get that cleaned up and repaired so it's all ready to rock and roll. But we are turning this car from what was a bit of a dog. Yeah. It's going to be kind of good, like really good, it's I think. It's got a lot of nice parts on it. Yeah. It's going to drive really nice. Like, look, for a practice day drift car or for a learner drift car, this is absolutely perfect. You've got all the right cooling bits on it, you've got enough lock. It's going to sound good, it's going to go well, mm. and uh, it's going to have a hydro as well, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, if the Clio can sell before I get this home, there is a chance this might stay. If it doesn't, I'm not, and I have to sell this too, I still don't mind so much, yeah, yeah. because we've got the Piesta Resistance. Yeah, I've got the S15. got the S15 that will uh, be great, really good, but I'd rather Lucas Bandana crashed into this than my S15. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't want him crashing into my S15. <laughs> There we have, updates on the car. It should actually be ready by the weekend, which is amazing. Ian is just so good at his job and I love being around people that are just talented and good at what they do. So really glad he's working on it. We were just saying, man, this car by the end is gonna be amazing. Haven't fully decided if I'm getting rid of it yet or not. Like, I just know that I, I need some money. <laughs> so if the Clio can sell, Maybe we hold on to the, the, the 350 for a little while. Maybe get some skidding done. I'd love to get over to Mondello at some point again, but it just all, all depends on uh, finances. And um, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed the little vlog. Little update on the 350Z. I've now got to go and walk Finn in the, in the dark because it's going to be dark by the time I get home. 
and the rain. So that's just awesome. <laughs> but it'll be good anyway. I'm really looking forward to getting the car home, giving this one a clean up, seeing what we, what we do in the end. Maybe I just advertise it, see if anybody buys it for what I'm gonna put it up for. Um, but I don't know. I really wanna go drifting, so we'll see. I'm in no rush, so we'll see. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you uh, aren't already. And if you like the video, I think it helps me on like the algorithm and stuff, not too sure, but um, we're basically starting from scratch here. So let's get stuck in. Take it easy and I'll see you hopefully in the next video.